So while I'm waiting for other things, I'm working on the doors here. So first thing, most importantly, is to get the, um, I, I want to use these German Hertz speakers. They're really awesome. They're top of the line component speakers. So mount a six and a half inch uh, woofer and then a one inch stone tweeter. So the tweeter will go up near the top of the door card here. And then the woofer is going to be hidden in behind the door card underneath. So I'm taking a speaker that's actually dimensionally quite a bit larger than this opening. It wouldn't fit in through the top and it won't let it to the bottom. So I'm going to, rather than cutting the metal here, I'm going to take the, um, the, the woofer frame itself and actually cut the frame so that it will uh, have a little notch right at this point here and a little notch where this here. And so I'll be able to slip the speaker in and slide it through and then bolt it back in. So I'll put set some sound deadening materials in here and get it to um, get the door acoustically correct and then I can mount this and then I'm going to take the door card and use a leather punch to punch access holes through the door punch so that the the um, the panel itself looks stock with just some breathing holes through it but the, um, the tweeter itself will be sitting on the surface um, and these are like super high end so it's going to be really nice and then the window winding mechanism which normally um, comes down to support the window channel and then it curves, the winding mechanism curves and comes back up here, hits the speaker. So I'm gonna have to change the way that that route to route it around the speaker. So anyway, I'm doing that and I'll show you. So I'm etching. This is my acid etch in there. I've been etching the metal clips and fasteners and stuff that go um, for the uh, the air uh, you know the um, heater box. So got the heater boxes all cleaned up. Waiting for the foam to come. All these parts and everything have all been cleaned, and then I can uh, reassemble it um, and it, with these clips. But I've also started working on the channels uh, uh, for the windows. So that first of all, the old owner went crazy with this fake carbon fiber look on a bunch of the interior and exterior parts of the car. So I'm gonna have to strip off the heat gun, strip off the stuff. But this, this channel looks pretty good. It's a little rusty. I've been acid etching it, cleaning it up. I want to see something really bad. This one's completely rotted out. So I'm going to have to cut out the rotted metal and then TIG weld in and repair this channel. And um, this is the, uh, the uh, bracket that I'll need to re-weld back in. So I have to clean all this stuff up. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to go in the garage and I'm going to wire wheel this stuff and uh, get all the metal parts prepped and then I'll um, zinc plate them and then I'll paint them and then I can start putting everything back together. So I got these uh, units um, ready to roll. For, I'm going to prime them with epoxy and then uh, use some filler on them and smooth them out and then uh, do final paint on them. I had to um, weld in new metal. Actually, I, I, I TIG brazed in because the metal is too thin. It's a bunch of really like 24 gauge metal that's been uh, folded into the shape. So it uh, burns out really easily. So I basically um, just took the um, opportunity to um, use bronze rod and just lower temperature on the TIG welder. And, and then I got this tab put back on as well so now I can put this back together and I also got uh, all the hardware bits for the um, uh, the heater box uh, got them all um, cleaned up and um, acid etched and wire brushed and now I'm going to give them um, some uh, zinc CAD plating and then uh, I can eventually put them back on the heater box and put that all back together. So I got the lifter mechanism, the new one, and you can see it does, uh, you know, go right where the speaker is, so all that runs in this channel here is a spring, so I'll just have to make a tight bend here, bend it sort of away, and down and around, and that should be fine, and it'll all be good. And then um, I've got the uh, this uh, fixed up. I gotta sort of push it, push it, push it down, but you can see here I've um, repaired it. Let me just pull it out. So 
this was all rusted to shit and uh, the tab had to be re-brazed on so I'm going to paint this tonight I put it, um, had it primed and then I had uh, some filler put in smoothed it up so I'll, I'll paint that it'll be good um, to show you the door cards these door cards I'm going to replace them even though they're in good shape relatively speaking um, so you know what's wrong with them yeah a lot of door cards have got this sort of wobbliness to them I can straighten that out these pockets are completely thrashed now I can unsew them and put new elastics in them um, you know that might just be the thing to do um, or I can probably just cut the elastic and uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do something anyway I put a new new elastic in there and tighten it up uh, but I've also got another set of door cards coming that I just bought from another fellow on VW Vortex so I will be able to uh, choose the better set um, these ones are blue the other ones are red I'd have to recolor the other ones not a huge issue but um, I'd like the doors to be perfect I've got the new upper um, um, they're actually made in Germany as a replacement part the um, the upper strip that goes along the window the plastic molding those are super expensive got them out of uh, uh, VW Heritage and uh, so the whole doors will look spectacular when they're done with all new hardware and all new uh, everything basically so the door should be really awesome and uh, this is all my replated heater box uh, mount mounting hardware clamps and clips and things so they're looking so out here in the garage um, these are the metal plates they look pretty shitty right now I'm just acid etching them but these are the metal plates that um, go be sort of a with the spoiler on the sides that uh, mount the spoiler to the body and uh, they were all gross so I've uh, wire wheeled them and scraped them and just finishing etching them and then I'll clean them up and then I'll, I'll paint them paint them body color um, I ended up uh, long story but um, the passenger side mirror um, had corroded to the point where this mounting bracket was permanently attached to this is aluminum cast aluminum and the aluminum oxide had uh, fused over no matter what I could do so I ended up very fortunate got a uh, another passenger side mirror and um, anyway so I'm just I'm acid etching the the, uh, the undersides here because uh, they get a little bit rusty um, but they're coming out a little bit better I'd like to have uh, the springs that um, you know hold them in place are a little bit tired and I was trying to just dis dis disassemble this but what I'm going to do is take some C clips or eclipse and um, press this spring down a little bit slip the eclipse in to just sort of tighten up the spring one way or another I'll get some spacers in there um, I still not have, have not figured out how to get the mirrors themselves out um, I don't think I absolutely have to but it's sort of grungy in the back I'd love to get in there better and clean it so one way or another q-tips um, you know some type of a, um, a brush I'll get into the back of those things and clean them all up and then I'll be able to um, repaint these they're, 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 they're dead so I have to clean them up and repaint them I'll paint them black epoxy which comes out as a nice semi-gloss so I'm just getting ready to um, to do some painting here get those um, window channel uh, brackets uh, maybe take a couple of different coats but I'm going to shoot them black tonight and see how they look tomorrow and if I need a little bit more work I'll sand them another time probably will do that uh, and then um, spray them yet again until they're absolutely bang on so there we go I got them painted and then tomorrow I'll sand them do any final putty mudding and get them all absolutely perfect and then give them one more very careful paint job at least those guys, these guys have to become body color so I'll have to get out the silver and the clear and spray those and then I hit uh, these guys after the acid wash and stuff I hit them with PV Blaster which is the um, you know the, like a WD-40 equivalent I guess a heavier duty version and then I um, 
rinse them off with perchlorethylene, and uh, and then I'll prep them for uh, for painting. So um, I think uh, I'll do a little bit more maybe cleaning on the inside of them, but uh, they're getting they're getting getting good now. Almost ready for.